The confessing Christian is called by Christ to the greatest challenge, to the greatest commission, and to be an agent of great change. However, it is the believing Christian who has been equipped to take on and complete the task. The one who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do. What are the works of Christ? And how can I, how can you do greater works than those? When we think of the work of Jesus, as far as it pertains to his earthly ministry, our minds tend to fixate on the many miracles that he performed, turning water into wine, walking on water, calming the troubled storms and troubled waters, feeding 5,000 with some fish and some loaves, healing the sick and even raising the dead, among other things. But what if I told you that his miracles were not his mission? What if I told you that those great wonders were not his work? In Matthew chapter 9, there's a paralyzed man who's brought to Jesus, and instead of healing him immediately, Jesus tells the man that his sins are forgiven. The man appears to be okay with that. But the onlookers, the teachers of the law, they said that they were upset that Jesus could or would say that he could forgive sins. They called Jesus a blasphemer. So Jesus asked, which is easier to forgive sins or to tell the paralyzed man to get up and walk? And said so, so that they could know that he had authority to forgive sins on earth. He looked and said, Man, get up and walk. The miracles were a witness to the true work. Jesus tells us his true work is building the kingdom. His true work is building the church. He says, I was sent to bring good news to the spiritually poor. He says, I was sent to proclaim the release of the spiritually captive and to recover sight to the spiritually blind, to set free those who are spiritually oppressed, and to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. That is the work that we all can do. Christ says we can do greater works than him. Now to some that would sound like blasphemy, sound like Something you say or do that shows you no respect for God or for religion. But these are Jesus' words. The believer can do greater works. One, because we get credit for the work he already did. Amen. Amen. We get credit for the work he already did. Remember in high school, we had group projects. <laughs> and there was always maybe one person who took leadership, who took ownership, and said, I'm not, not going to let the rest of this group fail me. <laughs> and so they would do the heavy lifting. Yeah. And because you were a part of the group, you got your credit. So we get credit. For what he already did. And we can see further than the giant, not because we are bigger or better, 
but because we stand on its shoulders. Yes, yes. Two, because we have tools. Third, because we have time. Tools like the internet has made it possible for me to preach a message here, Third Presbyterian Church in Cincinnati, Ohio, and at the same time, someone on the other end of the world can hear us. Yes. Amen. Great work. Amen. Amen. Oh, also, time. Time to develop things like ministries of, and food pantries that can feed tens and thousands of people in need. Those aren't the sermon points, but I needed to get those out of the way. All right. What stops people from doing great works? Or great works, by my say, other people. And get in the way. Ah, they don't appreciate. They ungrateful. Why would I do anything for them? By my say, the inward person. Oftentimes gets in the way. Sometimes I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like the right moment, the right time. Uh, wait till I get some things in order a little more. May maybe then I can do it. It's in the kingdom, but not just in the area of kingdom or in church, but greatness. What stops one from being great or chasing greatness? In one's own personal life. No, I argue that the greatest greatness we can find in life is only in Christ. I, I think what stops people from doing positive things? What stops us? Paul said, when I desire to do good, <laughs> evil is always there. One thing is how we define great. How do we define what great is? You know, the world has its definition. The Bible says, be cautious of those who call good evil and evil good. Because the world's standard of greatness not always be God's. And oftentimes they're not God's. The world will say, get you the house on the hill with the picket fence. Then you will be great. Logic tells us we can get all that we can possess and it still won't be enough. Amen. We'll still Amen. feel empty. Amen. You ever pray for something? Amen. Get it and say, God, Amen. now I want this. Yeah. 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 See, the flesh is never satisfied. So sometimes we can't be great because we have bad thinking. But what we chase is greatness. Is it truly greatness? Sometimes we can't be great because we have small thinking. Ah. Sometimes we have the mentality that okay is enough. Okay is enough. But today I want to encourage you to chase for something greater. Something greater that is found in the belief in Christ, and the trust in Christ, and in the work of Christ. Amen. 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 Henry Ford once said, rather you believe you can or can't, you're right. Rather you believe you can or you can't, you are right. A lot of times, we don't achieve because we don't believe we can achieve. Amen. Oftentimes, we are our own worst enemies. He said, if you say you can't, you won't. Jesus says, the one who believes in me, the work that I do, he will do also. And the biggest indicator of what you believe or what we believe is not what we say, but what we do. Your actions show your true beliefs. Amen. There's a parable Jesus tells of two sons. He 
says to the onlookers and to the people listening, he says, what do you think? There's a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. The son said, I will not. But later, he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. And the son said, sir, I will go. And he did not go. Which of the two did what the father wanted? The one who said he would do it and didn't do it, or the one who said he would not do it, and yet did it. What we believe is reflected in the things we do. So we have to dare to believe in something greater. We have to dare to believe in something higher. We have to dare to dream that he is able to do more, far more, abundantly beyond what we can ask or even think, according not to our power, but to his power to complete those works within us. Where we believe, this is what Jesus is emphasizing to his followers. You believe it, you can do it. Not because of who you are, but because of who he is. Amen. Amen. Next, we have an advocate. Jesus goes to the Father on our behalf. In John 14, this is Jesus' last intimate moment with his disciples. Mm -hmm. We're hearing that dialogue of the upper room, the last supper, and they, they're sharing it with us. Jesus uh, says to them that I'm going to prepare a place for you, and where I go, you will also be. He said, for in my father's house, there are many big rooms. You probably heard this at a funeral sometime. But he's prepared a way. He goes to the father for us so that we can come after him. I don't know about you, but sometimes Seeing someone do it lets us know that it can be done. I'm sure there was a time when people said there's no hope in even trying to be good. Because I continually fall short of this. People have given up on marriage and relationships because of this reason. Either they lost faith in themselves or in other people. Why should I continue? But sometimes when you see someone have a successful relationship, that will encourage you that you can do the same. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm a big movie buff, big comic book movie buff, and one of my favorite comic book trilogy be the Dark Knight trilogy, the Batman trilogy. I don't know if you remember those movies, but it's the third one that may not be as strong as the other two, but it has some of my favorite moments in there. One, one of the great moments in that movie is where Bruce Wayne, he's thrown into this pit prison. Now this pit prison that has no guards, it's just a deep well. And, and no one can escape it. But one person did. Out of thousands and thousands of prisoners have, that have been thrown here and, and left to die, left to rot. One person made it out. And knowing that, one person made it out and gave Bruce Wayne, Batman, the confidence that if, if this person can do it, then I can do it. So there, there, there's begin this, this montage of him attempting to do it. So he's climbing this great wall of this, this deep pit. And he, he gets to the top of this. There's this long jump that he has to make. And then he takes this long jump and he doesn't reach and he falls down. Luckily, there was a rope tied to him that he didn't go splatter on the ground. But he attempts this 
several times and he, he fails. And he questions the people around the other prisoners. He said, so you said someone escaped. How did they do it? And they said, well, for one, the child that did it didn't have a rope tied to them. See, sometimes our leap requires faith. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. See, see, sometimes when you get to the end of your rope, yeah. you have to let go. Yes. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Amen. Sometimes when you get to the end of the rope, you have to let go and let God. that pushes us 
forward. Yeah. Something that's not our glory, not, not, not us chasing the path on our own back, but it's got to be something greater than that. Because I'm here to tell you, sometimes people won't thank you enough yeah. for what you sacrifice or what you do or what you did. Sometimes your family won't appreciate you enough. Grown folks, sometimes your children won't appreciate the sacrifices you made. Young people, sometimes your parents won't notice the great things you do and accomplish despite of all the challenges you face day to day in school, online, in the world, on the school bus, at the job. For you to even be standing and not be broken is greatness. Damn. Uh, I says if, if you ask, Anything I will do, not because of who you are, but because of who I am. Because of who I am. Sometimes we have to not make it about us. That's right. That's not a big enough force to continually move us. So to you, when you do these things which were commanded to you, all the things that were, were commanded to you, Jesus said, say, we are unworthy servants. We have done only what we ought to have done. See, sometimes, you know, most times, we want credit for doing what we're supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> I clean my room. You're supposed to clean your room. Sure. Yes. You want to clean my room. That would be extra. <laughs> <laughs> I took out the trash. <laughs> Now, most of that trash is your garbage. Right. <laughs> Amen. I wash the dishes. <laughs> then your place you let pile up. <laughs> On credit for what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I, 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 I seen that somewhere. Uh, somebody said, I, I'm babysitting the kids. So they do your kids. That ain't babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you ought to do. Yes. Amen. But when we do things for our own glory, we miss the mark. We miss the mark. Because there's something greater than us. Mm -hmm. And when we chase the greater, then we find purpose. Then we find meaning. Then we find a joy, an unspeakable joy that no one can take from us. Greater works. Having greater works, being having the ability to do greater works, is because I have a greater spirit working within me. That, that, that means that I'm more determined. And determined that my current situation ain't my permanent situation. So, so even though I may be in the hood. <laughs> I'm not of the hood. I am a child of God. Amen. It means that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It means that the work that I do is not my work, but his work. And he will see his work on until it's completed. And I know that greater is me, is in me, than he who is in the world. We have to find our greatness, tap into that potential, and chase after that which is in Christ. 